Hey there everyone, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Ether Raids. Today's video features one match. This map is a save armor setup, kind of like the map I faced on day two, except this one's executed well. The main threat, obviously, is the cluster of units on the right-hand side that features both of the save armors in Benny and Hector. And then on the left side, there's a there's just, just a small force to that's just there to not be dead weight. Uh, the best way to deal with maps like these is to bring a wall breaker. A, I would say that a two range wall breaker is ideal because that would allow you to take out the far save unit and uh, let the force on the left approach you. That being said, a one range wall breaker is probably just fine since you do, after all, have a three versus six on the left hand side, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal to um, to fight into that. Um, let's see here. Oh, yes, another option is you could take out the force on the left and then break the duo's hindrance and healing tower up top and then place a unit here that if benny can deal at least five damage to that unit he will go ahead and do that instead of rallying and really you just need to make sure you're really careful about it because he does have uh he does have special fighter so if you can't stop if you can't one round him then he can get a refresh from mirabilis and uh, land that bonfire on your unit so that could be could be bad. On the plus side, it does get rid of the near save, which I guess doesn't really help you that much against the Hector, but uh, everybody else, it, it'll at least stop Benny from uh, from guarding them. So those are the things that I observe about this map. Let's go ahead and get into my clear now. I sent in my Canto Abuse team against this save armor setup. Uh, the, the kickoff for this map is actually pretty straightforward. I just had Erica take out the Saros and Katria deal with the Duma. The uh, fact that Erica has Kanto allows her to move in front of Leaf after taking out Saros, preventing Leaf from doing anything threatening. Let's see, anything else really noteworthy? I don't think so. I guess even if the Leaf did have pass, there were ways I could have mitigated that. Uh, say, moving Kent, having Regan Kanto up to the heavy trap. Catra's warp power would allow Erica to jump over Regan to the, get to the Saros if need be, and then leaving Catria there. From that, with that positioning, Leaf wouldn't have been able to actually attack anyone. He would probably move, I would imagine. But uh, yeah, even with pass, he wouldn't have been able to to do anything with it. Hmm, that's interesting. Didn't really think about that. Um, not a whole lot to talk about for the rest of this match, to be honest. It's just a matter of properly cleaning up the remaining foes. I very heavily used Katria's Wedding Bell Axe Triangle Attack power to, to facilitate that. I did actually have some uh, false starts, I think. I, I, was, um, where I was going to go in uh, for like a second round of combat after I took some one unit out, and then I just decided not to. I think here is one of them. I was considering uh, trying to take out the Erica, and then I one, I found that the gravity thing was a problem. Mm, and then two, uh, I realized that uh, there wasn't really any side. way to to keep Katria safe. Well, actually, she wouldn't have minded taking a round of combat from the Hector, me. now that I think about it. Not my first huh. choice. Anyway, I decided to abort mission there, so I guess it looks like I probably didn't need to do that, but oh well. And yeah, I mean, the rest of this is just triangle attack abuse. I think I took out Erica with... Oh, did I have Erica take herself out? Over here? I'm trying to remember. I think I me. did. Yeah, I did, and then I had a canto away. And then I used some warp shenanigans after taking some thinking time to figure out what exactly I needed to do to get, uh, to get the job Where done. Do, friend? Close your eyes. Wait for me. Hmm, yes. 